What's up guys, Jake with Dean Tattoo coming with another special video. Today, we are looking at the Whip Machine SME. I think it stands for like sound mitigation equipment. This is a very cool muzzle device that I just picked up that was on sale. Around 4th of July, they did their 17.76% sale. Giggity. Bringing the price of it roughly down to about like 140, maybe maybe 150 bucks, which seems a lot for a muzzle device like this. Now I've been aware of this device for a couple of years now, and my understanding is this is supposed to help with redirecting the sound. It's not an NFA IM, it's not a suppressor. It doesn't actually reduce the sound signature of it, but more or less redirects it away from the shooter. The way it works is you've got your, what looks like a typical muzzle brake, and then you've got this tube here that looks, well, looks like a tube for a suppressor, but it's open at the end there. So you put this muzzle brake in, put it in there, there's threading on the inside that matches that right there. You put it in and you twist it, which I'm not gonna do on camera because of YouTube, obviously. But essentially, oh, I'll show you like this. So here it is now actually inside there. You can see it there. I've twisted it almost all the way. It will sit nice and flush when I get done twisting it. And then you can see there's the other end sort of there. But you'll see it kind of sits in there very nicely, very snug. Doesn't really look like there's a lot of room for gas to escape, except for the main hole there. And they've got a lot of different calibers. They got 9, 45, 223, 5.56, 7.62 by 39, 30 cal, a few other different calibers as well I'm probably forgetting about. So I got the one that's 9 millimeter, because I really wanted to see how well it redirects the sound that comes out of a nine millimeter barrel. It could maybe potentially possibly be such that you don't actually need ear pro when it's redirected away from you, the shooter. We're gonna find that out today. Other videos showed that with the rifle version, there was a significant difference between having the sleeve on and off. Obviously with it off, it's gonna be more like a muzzle brake, so it's gonna be extra loud, but give you better recoil control. Whereas if you put the sleeve on, you apparently have more recoil but then the sound would obviously be redirected more downrange towards a shooter, which, I mean, let's be honest, if you're using this towards someone, you don't really care how loud the apparent sound might seem to them. Uh, you're probably looking to neutralize them in the first place. So that brings in the case with the nine millimeter one that I picked up. You know, with nine millimeter carbines, PCCs, all that stuff, not really an issue as far as recoil goes from the barrel when they were firing. So I wanted to see a few things. Number one, I wanted to see how this did with the muzzle control without the actual sleeve on and see what kind of sound signature we got from the shooter's perspective. And then the second thing I wanted to actually check is see how it compares with the sleeve on and see how it directs the sound away from me and see if there is a noticeable difference in the flip of the recoil from the muzzle from the shear's perspective. Now, again, this is not an NFA item, so we're not gonna actually use any special equipment to get a decibel ring. We're just gonna tell you from my perspective as a shooter, which one seems louder and if there's even a noticeable difference with this on compared to what's normally on which in this case, we're shooting a KP9. It has its own little muzzle device. It's like a little miniature brake. So that'll be kind of like our control. And then we'll compare to see how it sounds with this muzzle brake, as well as with the full sleeve on and everything else. Should be interesting, we'll see. All right, so first up, we've got the KP9, which is the regular muzzle device it came with, kind of like a small muzzle brake. We're gonna see how that sounds. So definitely loud. Uh, pretty good muzzle control here as well. Especially with the sling technique, it really helps with the, uh, you know, the recoil and such. All right, so next up is the uh, muzzle brake part of the Whip Machine SME device. Now they do give you a crush wash to kind of help with the timing. However, with this being a KP9, an AK pattern, there is sort of like a little spring-loaded rod that kind of helps the timing as well as an indentation on the muzzle device itself. It kind of wants to stay timed perfectly vertical for you. So let's see how this does in comparison. So I'm definitely feeling less recoil. Um, I'm actually feeling air blow down. See how I've got the open ports down there at the bottom facing down? I'm definitely feeling air down near my feet where it's hitting, as well as the air pushing up to kind of help with the recoil control. 
All right, so now we've got the final form of the Whip Machine SME device. Let's see how she sounds. Wow, it's different. That is significantly better. Probably wouldn't do it without Ear Pro, but there is a noticeable difference with the direction of the sound going down range. Now that being said, we are running 124 grain um, non-subsonic, just regular ammo. So maybe with subsonic ammo, it might be a little bit quieter, but didn't bring any out today, unfortunately. Could you use this in a home defense situation to kind of help with some of the sound issues that might hurt your hearing? I think so. I think, why not? I mean, if nothing else, it's gonna do something better than nothing. I do think it'll be enough to help keep some of your hearing intact rather than as much as you would have normally lost. Would I recommend it? Absolutely, if you can get it for a good price. Like if you catch it when it's on sale like I did at 17.76% off, then I think it's a heck of a good deal. Roughly that put me about, after taxes and shipping, about 150 bucks, give or take a couple dollars. So if you can get it for around that price, I think it's a hell of a good deal. But honestly, 200 bucks, it's not that bad either for what it actually does. Again, non-NFA, um, yet it helps reduce some of the sound signature from the shear's perspective. And for that, I think it's worth the price. Guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Remember, if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. Have you picked up a whip machine SME? Maybe one like this. I'd love to hear from you. We will see you next time. Well, Bobcats holler on the hill. Take yourself a meth pill. Jump around until you're still. That means that you're dead. If you have a gun on you, put it up your butt and glue it shut until you cannot poo. We.